Like these steaks are like 25. What kind did you get? I'm Melody. And I'm Marcus. We live in the Philadelphia area. We've been married for five years. And we are living broke on purpose. This month we were under on gas. I'm currently working on my PhD. And I'm a software engineer. We really want to change our family history when it comes to handling finances and money. I was never taught about wealth, how to grow wealth. I think it was simply check to check. As long as the bills are paid, everything's OK. We had tons of credit card debt, two car loans, and then we had this mountain of student loan debt. $212,000 in debt. When we first realized we had this whopping amount of debt, we had to make huge changes. We gave up eating out, coffee, shopping, I mean, cable, cable, cable football. <laughs> For the first month, we were able to pay off $2,553 of our debt, which was huge for us. It made us feel great. I mean, it was like, we actually did it. <laughs> So it actually became this empowering kind of like hashtag, I'm broke on purpose. I'm broke because I chose to be broke and not because my situation made me that way. We actually chose that to be the name of our site, livebrokeonpurpose.com. I've come up with a few tips and tricks along the way that have helped us to pay down debt and save money. So I wanna share some of those with you. Keeping visual reminders and motivators around your house is a great way to stay on track. We have this framed image here that says, you can't keep asking for increase while doing things that cause you to decrease. This is excellent for me because sometimes I get the itch to jump online and shop and I realize it's gonna take away from my overall goal. So one of the ways I keep on track with our budget is to use what I like to call money envelopes. I've given my envelopes cute names to help keep me on track, like foodie fun for when I wanna go out to eat. I have treat yourself, and my favorite is latte loot, because you know I gotta have my coffee. The key to this is to put money in the envelopes at the beginning of the month, and once that money is gone, you can no longer spend in that area. So it helps you control your spending and keeps you on task, and it also makes you think about your purchases before you make them. If you don't like using the cash, as I show with the money envelope, you can easily open several separate checking accounts to put your money in different categories that way. We see that's a growing trend among people who like to be able to see what's going on with their money in different categories at all times. One of the fastest ways to pay down your debt is to get a side hustle. Since I don't have a lot of time, I work as a digital media influencer that allows me to create my own schedule. There are tons of side hustles that you can do that don't take a lot of time away from home. If you're tech savvy and love to keep up with your budget on the go, use a budgeting app. Marcus and I love to use the Every Dollar app because we can keep up with how each other is spending money. Whatever he puts in, I see, and whatever I put in, he sees. So we never go over budget. It can be hard to stay on task. I mean, this is coming from an ex-shopaholic. You just gotta find whatever motivates you for your big goal. So our total debt was $212,000, but we plan to be paid off in about two years.